Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and it's so good to be with you today. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast. I have two counseling sites, counselorsofpeace.com and counselorsoftruth.com, and I do counseling over the telephone. If I can be of service to you, you can please give me a call, and I'd love to visit with you. I also have several video sites, uh, www.raymondmayfield.com, and also I have RaymondMayfield.com. All of my videos are on those sites. <clears throat> I want to speak to you today on the Witch of Endor. This account is found in 1 Samuel chapter 28. Saul's life is about to come to an end. There was a lot of division in Israel among the mighty warriors and the army. The mighty hosts of the Philistines were at the border, and Saul knew that he was facing the final hours, and he knew that he had led his armies to the heights of Gilboa, and in the night with an evil spirit within him, he went to visit a witch who was called the Witch of Endor. There is a deep cry from Saul's heart, I am sore distressed. For the Philistines make war with me, and God is departed from me, and answereth me no more. That is a very sad cry when a man says that. For the Lord no longer will listen to me, and he has departed from me, and an evil spirit had entered into him. Samuel, the great man of God, the great judge of Israel, had just died. And all of Israel mourned his death, and they buried him in Ramah. And Saul had put all of those who had familiar spirits and wizards out of the land. Then Saul said to his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go unto her. So Saul disguised himself and went to visit this witch of Endor. And the woman said, Behold, thou knowest, what Saul is down, how he, how he hath cut off all of those that had familiar spirits and cast him out of the land. And she was very concerned about her life, you know, the situation as it was. She was afraid that uh, she might be getting herself into trouble. And then the woman asked Saul the question, who shall I bring up? Uh, Saul had asked her to bring up something or talk to someone or bring someone up to talk to because God wouldn't talk to him. And Saul said, bring up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she knew that he was Saul and his identity was revealed. And the woman said unto Saul, I saw God's ascending out of the earth. The woman said, he is an old man coming up and he is covered with a mantle. And then the Bible goes on to say something very revealing that we should remember in this story, that Saul perceived that it was Samuel. It doesn't say that it, it was Samuel in a sense there, that in a sense it said that he perceived he was Samuel, and he spoke to the man he thought was Samuel. I believe honestly that this was an evil spirit designed to Samuel, he did have a denunciation to say to him of saying he was going to be defeated the next day on the battlefield and he was going to die. But you know, the devil has always come to steal and to kill and destroy. And it's wrong to try to bring up someone from the dead and try to talk to them. God has strictly forbid people, especially in the Old Testament, to not talk to the dead. And uh, trying to bring back the dead is something. When people go on there in glory, we should be talking to the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and God. That's who God wants us to talk to. And I definitely believe this was an evil spirit disguised as Samuel. God never brings someone back from the dead to talk to us except it be Jesus Christ. And he is the Son of God. Trying to talk to the dead is led by evil spirits. A tip-off is found in 1 Samuel 28:19. When the Spirit said, your sons will be here with me uh, soon. And so, you know, by him very saying that, you know, I don't believe that uh, Samuel and Saul was going to the same place. An evil spirit 
and a man who possessed the Spirit of God are not going to the same places. You know, we've got two choices to make in life. It's either heaven or hell. God help us if we don't get mixed up with the wrong kind of people and the wrong kind of spirits. If we do, we're going to cast ourselves into outer darkness. And Saul tried to console because God wouldn't listen to him anymore. An evil spirit moved into him. I tell you what, we need the Spirit of God in our life today. We need the Holy Spirit moving through us today. If we'll talk to God and listen to God, everything is going to be all right. If you're not saved, pray today and ask Jesus Christ to come into your life because I believe God wants to do something in your life, uh, especially today. If you'll kneel and ask God and put away your sins uh, and put away those things that are hindering you, God will save you today. Repent of your sins and ask him to come into your heart, and he certainly will. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I appreciate you so much. I love you, and thank you for listening today.